Good morning, dear sisters and brothers in Christ. Please stand for the entrance hymn. With joyful hearts, we begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, we celebrate the great feasts, the solemnity of all the saints. We thank God for the gift of this wonderful people in the life of the church. And as we email it and follow them in the journey of life, let us ask the Lord for the grace as we call to mind our sins and seek God's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words. In, in what, what I've done, done and in what, what I, I fail to do. 
through my, my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to the people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son, Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayers. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ. With, with the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit in, the in the glory of God, God the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. We bring before the Lord the intentions offered for this Mass. Almighty ever living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints. Bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw another angel rising where the sun rises, carrying the seal of the living God. He called in a powerful voice to the four angels whose duty was to devastate land and sea. Wait before you do any damage on land or at sea or to the trees, until we have put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. Then I heard how many people were sealed, 144,000 out of all the tribes of Israel. After that, I saw a huge number, impossible to count, of people from every nation race, tribe, and language. They were standing in front of the throne and in front of the Lamb, dressed in white robes and holding palms in their hands. They shouted aloud, Victory to our God, who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels who were standing in a circle round the throne, surrounding the elders, and the four animals prostrated themselves before the throne and touched the ground with their foreheads, worshipping God with these words, Amen, praise and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honour and power and strength to our God forever and ever. Amen. One of the elders then spoke, and asked me, Do you know who these people are, dressed in white robes 
and where they have come from? I answered him, You can tell me, my lord. Then he said, These are the people who have been through the great persecution, and they have washed their robes white again in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. A reading from the first letter of St. John. 
think of the love that the Father has lavished on us by letting us be called God's children. And that is what we are. Because the world refused to acknowledge him, therefore, it does not acknowledge us. My dear people, we are already the children of God. But what we are to be in the future has not yet been revealed. All we know is that when it is revealed, we shall be like him because we shall see him as he really is. Surely, everyone who entertains this hope must purify himself, must try to be as pure as Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give you rest, says the Lord. From the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up to the hill. There he sat down and was joined by his disciples. Then he began to speak. This is what he taught them. How happy are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle. They shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn, they shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right, they shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful, they shall have mercy shown them. Happy the pure in heart, they shall see God. Happy the peacemakers, they shall be called children of God. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ.
Good morning, everyone. First and foremost, uh, blessed and holy feast day. It's your feast, it's my feast, it's the feast of the church. It's the All Saints Day. It's All Saints Day today. Last week, just to recap, last week, I asked a very simple question, if you could recall at this point. I asked is, are you going to heaven? And uh, I'd like to ask this question again today. Are you going to heaven? Could you raise your hands? Oh, oh, oh. There was a bigger number yesterday. Today, my dear friends, is all those who have gone into heaven. That's the celebration today. If you're not there, then you come back tomorrow. All Souls Day. That's when we pray for you tomorrow. All Souls Days are those who are on the journey reaching heaven. Today is a great feast for all those who have already entered that beatific vision, the moment to see God's face to face. That's the whole image of today. The great desire to enter into this. When you speak about these saints, they are just ordinary people. St. John Veani, St. Teresa Vivila, all of them. They are simple people just like you and me, simple folks, who lived in a simple, ordinary life, but in an extraordinary way. That's what they did. But I just want to share with you this morning as I step into this beautiful feast, Pesta Hari Raya Orang Orang Kudus. Keesokan hari kita akan merayakan arwah semua orang yang beriman. So when we look at this moment of All Saints today, I'm just going to ask you, have you ever had an idea of heaven? Have you had a vision of how heaven is? How does heaven look at this moment? Would you like to have a vision of heaven? It's in your first reading in the book of Revelation today. John had this vision from the book of Apocalypse. He said heaven is just like this. God is seated on the throne, majestic with all the angels. Everything is glorified and everyone will be dressed in white, just like the communion ministers, just like the lector and acolytes, like the servers. We are all up here. It's all dressed in white and by the multitudes by them, only one thing differentiates everything. You know what is it? Where you're seated. It's all about where you're seated. Because the ultimate end is only one thing. The ultimate goal of my life and your life is only one thing. Do you know what it is? It's in a responsible psalm. What was it? If you want to say it, you say it and you go to heaven quick. What was it? Uh, yesterday's group was fast. What was the responsible psalm? Masmur antara bacaan pagi ni. Could you go to the second slide, please? Lord, the people long to see your face. Can you remember that? It's the desire to see God's face. Keinginan, kedahagaan untuk melihat wajah Tuhan. Untuk mendiami rumah Tuhan. The desire to be with God. So where you are seated is very important. The front row is already reserved for the saints. Look at them, how holy they are. Then you have the martyrs, the holy men, and then we move on. It's how close you can have a glimpse of God. The desire to grow closer and closer to God. I've said this quite a bit during the past weeks. The hunger, the drive, the thirst, the intention, kedahagaan, kehausan, the thirst to see God. That is all. Just to see God's face. Some of us love to sit at the back. Some of us are even outstanding. Some of us are the buff. It doesn't matter where you are if you get that glimpse of God's face. And to have that glimpse of God's face, you need something. You need to have the perfection and the holiness of life. I've said this. It's not difficult, my dear. It sounds like a very big phrase. 
holiness, perfection. Jesus says, be perfect as my heavenly Father is perfect. Be holy. Holiness simply means God is the center of your life. Holiness simply means do what God asked me to do. Holiness means to live the life of Jesus in my life. That's what they did. Just what God wants me to do every day of my life. When God is the center of my life, when everything in my life circles and envelopes around God, you are holy and perfect. And I see this in you each day. When I look at you, even at this morning standing before you, I see God in you, in the chosen vocation, as a mother, as a husband, as a father, as a wife. You live your life. What God is calling you to do, that's holiness and perfection. Kesempurnaan keimanan kamu. The perfection of your life, of what God is asking of you. The little things that you do in life, God sees it. And that's what we do in perfection. Simple little things. The question we ask this morning is again, can I get there, Father? Can I get there in heaven if I live my life? Yes, yes, you can. Because the seeds are here, the fruits are up there. If you find yourself living in the seeds and smelling it, you will get it at the heaven. I've said this many times, heaven, the kingdom of God, is here and it's up there. You must have a foretaste of the banquet here and then you will have the fullness of it. I'll just give you a simple analogy. I shared this yesterday. In the seminary back, day, back then, when I was in the seminary, the best days of the seminary was on Saturdays, the weekends, because there was no classes, there was no lectures on a Saturday. We had the morning free to ourselves, and most of us would do our house chores, our laundry and our cleaning up on a Saturday morning. And usually around 10, 10, 30, 11, when you get at the back where they're doing their laundry, just above the laundry is the kitchen. And as the guys are washing their clothes, they smell the chicken curry. They smell the sambal, but they can't eat it because lunch is only at 1 o'clock. But at 10.30, they smell the kingdom of God. If you can't smell the kingdom of God with your husband today, I wonder how you find it at the end. You must be able to smell the kingdom of God here. That's the way you live your lives today. The seeds, the fruits. Every day I'm growing in that perfection to find that moment to reach the end goal. Because my desire, my longing and my anticipation is always about the end. Did Jesus leave us a book? Did Jesus give us a guideline how to smell this kingdom of God every day? He did. He gave us a wonderful book. Do you know what it called? A beautiful chapter in the Gospels, one of his teachings. Do you know what it's called? Hello? It's on your screen. Kebahagiaan hidup. Bahagialah sesiapa yang merendahkan hati, yang bertanggung kepada Tuhan saja, berbahagialah mereka. It's the Beatitudes. It's so simple, my dear friends. Jesus says, blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. Pure in heart simply means single-mindedness. That means God is everything to me. Nothing else takes me away from God. My heart is chaste and pure for God alone. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. That means I put my trust in God and God alone. I depend everything in my life on God alone. Everything in my life circles in God. Blessed are the peacemakers that I look for peace. Everything is listed down in the Beatitudes. Kebahagian hidup. It's what we call in faith journey, the Magna Chata, the great chart of the Christian life. Live this and life is yours. Simple as that. You'll be seated on the front row. My dear sisters and brothers, you can always speak about the Beatitudes, but the Beatitudes needs one thing in life. It needs to be the attitude of your life. It needs to do, be the attitudes of your life. Sikap dan teladan setiap hari dalam perjalanan iman kamu. 
dalam kehidupan rohanimu. Once it's an attitude in your life, you have lived the beatitudes. The problem with life is we struggle with the desires of our flesh and we lose the strength of the spirit. These great men in the first reading have gone before us. I invite you today as we thank God for the gift of the saints. You and I are saints in the making. We are in the process of smelling the kingdom of God. We have to make the attitudes of the Beatitudes, the attitudes of our lives. We stand to near our faith in God and the Church. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us man and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven. And he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who in the Father and the Son is the token and glorified, who is spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, knowing that you have consecrated this church as a house of prayer, we come to you confidently with our petitions. The response is, Lord, we trust in thee. For the Pope, bishops, priests and religious, that they will lead and guide their flock with love and firmness of the gospel in whatever situation they are called to be in, so that God's reign is established staunchly in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we trust in thee. For the political situation in our country, that God guides our leaders to rule wisely and to always do what is right for all segments of society, especially the poor and the marginalized, in spite of the challenges faced today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we trust in thee. For all those who are sick, unemployed, isolated, and depressed, that they will regain their faith in the Lord, trusting that he is in control of any situation they face. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we trust in thee. For the COVID-19 pandemic, we ask for the blood of Jesus to cover and protect each and every one of us, and that the search for the vaccine is intensified and shared affordably for the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we, we trust in thee. For our parish, that it will be a place of welcome where all will feel the warmth of God's love and that this love will be reflected in our daily lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we trust in thee. For vocations, that the young men and women of this parish will heed the call of God in their lives and listen 
to the voice of the Spirit, just as the holy saints had done in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we trust in thee. For our own needs and the needs of those who have asked for our prayers, we now pray in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we trust in thee. All holy God, you called your people to holiness. As we keep the festival of all the saints, give us the poverty of spirit, a thirst for righteousness and a purity of heart. May we share with them the richness of your kingdom and be clothed in the glory you bestow. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever.
pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, Lord, and grant that just as we believe in the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we step into the preface and to the Eucharistic prayer this morning, we bring before the Lord the intentions of this morning's Eucharist. I invite you to pause and to pray for what lies in your heart. The members of your family deceased, members of your family and loved ones. For those who have asked us to pray for them, for those who celebrate the gift of life today, I invite you to join in prayer for the massacre in the Basilica of Notre Dame, France. We pray for all frontliners, especially doctors and nurses and caregivers, especially in Sabah. The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, Rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church, through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so, Father, we glorify you with multitude of saints and angels, as with one voice we acclaim. rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit. Graciously make holy this gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. In giving you thanks, Father, he said the blessing. He broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving you thanks, Father, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. As we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, blessed Joseph, husband, the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Francis of Assisi and St. Pio of Piatracina, with St. Faustina and St. John Paul II and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, Sebastian, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all clergy and religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family and community whom you have summoned before you this morning. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed sisters and brothers and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world, all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As we await the coming of God's kingdom, with faith and confidence, we pray in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Take a moment to offer that peace to one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm, I'm not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the, the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Blessed are the pure of heart, they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Do remain seated until the hospitality ministers invite you to queue for Holy Communion. Please maintain a one meter distance when in queue. Thank you. My Jesus, I believe that you
Let us pray.
as we adore you, Heavenly Father, you alone who are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Could you kindly be seated just for a few short announcements? I begin with tomorrow's celebration, All Souls Day. There will be no morning mass. Kindly take note that there will be no morning mass tomorrow morning. Mass is scheduled tomorrow at 8 p.m. Divine Mercy Chaplet followed by the Eucharist at 8.30 p.m. So kindly take note that there will be no morning mass. For those of you who are finding your way to the cemeteries, Jalan Klawai or Western Road to be with your loved ones and to pray. I'm just asking you to please follow the strict observance and the regulations or the strict guidelines by the relevant authorities. The blessings will be done in the morning by the relevant priests, but if you are going there, please take the necessary precautions. If you have just noticed during this day, we have kind of stepped up with the SOPs in the parish. There's been a spike of numbers in our vicinity and we are trying to tighten up, if that's the right word, some of the SOPs in our parish. So I ask you to just follow the guidelines of the hospitality ministers as we come. And if you are leaving this morning after Mass, I ask you to follow the guidelines from the Ministry of the Hospitality as you take leave of this place. And if there is no reason for you to linger around in the parish after the Mass, I would really encourage if you could leave the parish premises as soon as possible because we will lock down 15 minutes after the Mass. This is the best part. I have to translate this in Bahasa. So I just want to ask you to ask you to ask you to uh, so habis ni misa Saya minta sesiapa di sini Untuk meninggalkan gereja Ya meninggalkan gereja Jangan berlenggah-lenggah Ambil gambar Ya kerjasama kamu Amat kami perlukan Ikut arahan-arahan Dan Daripada hospitality ministers Ya Bagi ini Finally I just want to thank the MOH You have done a great job guys I, I really thank you for all you have, you have done and for all the volunteers who have stepped up to help out during this weekend, if you really feel that you're stirred and moved forward to, to assist the MOH, please make yourselves available to Zach or to anyone around, you know, the MOH, to be part of this service to the parish, right? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the glory and joy of all the saints who has caused you to be strengthened by means of their outstanding prayers, bless you with unending blessings. Amen. Amen. Freed through the intercession from present ills and formed by the example of the holy way of life, may you be ever devoted to the serving God and your neighbor. Amen. Amen. So that together with all, you may possess the joys of the homeland where Holy Church rejoices that her children are admitted in perpetual peace to the company of the citizens of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Could you just be seated for one minute? I forgot to pray for all expectant mothers. I'm the new boy on the block. If there is anyone here who is a mother-to-be, an expected mother, could you kindly stand? And if you're at home, I'm just going to pray with you this morning, all right? Heavenly Father, we thank you for all those mothers, expected mothers who carry with them the growing hope of life. Fill them with lives into this world, Lord. Bless them and breathe that living promise of hope and help them to experience this moment of joy. 
fear and anxiety as they find their moments ahead. Fill them, Lord, with your grace and inspire them, just as Mary and Joseph was the model of a loving family. Give them the courage to guide them and fill them with the gladness wherever they are, in strength and in prayer. With your grace, Lord, fill them with all the moments to experience the joys and the challenge of parenthood. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Could you kindly stand? Go in the peace of Christ to love and serve the Lord. Praise, Praise be to God. God. Have a blessed weekend and stay Thank safe. You, Same, Same to you, Father. Father. Oh